Here's another important question. How much does it cost to build a website with WordPress? We've already touched briefly on the fact that WordPress itself is completely free. In fact, the organization behind it is the nonprofit WordPress Foundation, which again releases everything under the GPL or General Public License, giving us as users the freedom to use and modify the WordPress software in any way we see fit at no cost whatsoever. But that doesn't exactly tell the whole story. WordPress is free, but there are other expenses involved in creating a WordPress website and getting it up on the web. The two expenses that are sort of required are a domain name and a web hosting account. So a domain name is your website's unique address on the web. Google.com, WordPress.org, example.net, these are all domain names. When you go to create your website, you'll need to register a domain name. The cost of a domain name varies depending on the extension, like .com, .org, .net, and so on. And it also depends on where you get it from. Some companies are priced higher than others. But generally, you can expect to pay between 10 and 20 US dollars per year for your domain name. So not overly costly, but it is an expense. The other thing is web hosting. So every website needs to be hosted on a server, right? All of the files and the data that make up your website, all of that needs to live somewhere. So when you sign up for a web hosting service, you're basically renting a piece of a server where your website gets to live. So you can think of your web hosting account as your website's house, and then you can think of your domain name as the address for that house. So when somebody goes to yourdomain.com, their browser sends a request to your web host, and your web host says, okay, here's that website you asked for, and sends all of that information back so the visitor can view your website. That's sort of what's happening under the hood. You never think about it because it happens so quickly, but there is that sort of exchange happening every time you visit a website. So yes, every website needs web hosting. There's no getting around it. It's the only way to make your website publicly accessible. So the question then is, how much does that cost? Well, it can vary pretty widely depending on your individual needs. A large, highly trafficked website is going to have very different needs from a brand new blog or website that's just getting started. For our purposes here, it's totally possible to get started for under 10 US dollars per month on an entry level hosting plan. And as we move forward, don't worry, I'll show you exactly how to do that. As far as other expenses, nothing else is really required. There are a lot of premium WordPress themes that you can buy, some premium plugins, but really you don't need to buy anything else to get a great website up and running. The vast majority of themes are completely free, although I do tend to use premium themes myself. Plugins, on the other hand, I rarely purchase premium plugins because pretty much everything you can think of in terms of the functionality you want for your website is available in the form of a free plugin. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the costs of building a website with WordPress. WordPress itself is free, but you do need a domain name and a web hosting account to actually publish your website.